Hi there again everyone, Josie here, Life at 50 and Beyond. Thanks for joining me here in my channel where you will find mostly affordable, practical, and easy DIYs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell icon so that you will not miss any of my new uploads. Today I'm going to be showing you dollar store cart organization ideas specifically for this type of cart which is a utility cart. This is actually a multifunctional three-tier shelf that I got from Alborog. Full disclosure, I got this cart for free from a sponsor and I will be putting in the description box below how you can avail of this and I have also a discount if you are interested. What I like about this cart is that each shelf has holes so it's not a solid bottom on each shelf so to me I think it's not just decorative but stylish as well. It has a rounded handle and it is positioned in a way that it is not hampering whatever I'm going to be putting on the top shelf. Having a handle makes it easy to maneuver and move this cart around unlike those other carts that you can buy uh, other retail shops where there are no handles so you would have to use the top shelf to move it around or use the bar at the side. Using a utility rolling cart makes it easier for me as a crafter so that wherever I want to craft I can take my crafting essentials with me. So today, I'm going to be showing you how I will be organizing this using dollar store items. I do have a video that I have created a couple of years ago where I have organized my utility craft using also Dollar Tree or Dollar Store items. And I am going to be linking it in the upper right hand corner of this video. So feel free to watch it. So I have some new ideas that I will be showing you today using Dollar Store items. So for the first one, I'm going to be using this wire basket. This is the large rectangular wire basket that you can get at Dollar Tree. I am going to be putting it on one of the sides here. Again, just like with my other videos, I often show you that I am using a contrasting color of zip ties for the benefit of our viewers who are visually impaired. Now I'm just going to be tying this in a sort of a diagonal way and what I'm trying to do here is capture the intersection so that it will not slide down and it will hold it in place. So I'll just put two since this one has a couple of bars. I'll just trim the excess zip ties after I tighten each one. This basket will act as a dispenser for my ribbons. I have set up using a wooden double rod this can hold the capacity of up to 14 or even comfortably 16 ribbons of this size. So I'm using the third slot from the bottom. And then the good thing about this basket, this will prevent the ribbons from unraveling by inserting the ribbons through those slots. So the measurement of the wooden rod should be around 12 inches long. I think I'm using 14 inches long here, but later on I'm going to be trimming it so that it will not be hanging out too much. The basket acts as a guardrail of sort so that even though I am moving the cart around, the ribbons will not roll down or unravel. So on this side of the cart, I will be using this shower caddy. 
I will be attaching it on this side again utilizing the double bars on the side now here's one idea which I'm not going to be doing here you can put one medium size rectangular basket that you can also get at Dollar Tree. This one is smaller than the other one that I attached earlier. You can put it on top here and you can use this to organize things like your scissors or any tools that you may have which I'm going to show you because I'm going to put this on the other side below the ribbons. But for now I'm just going to be attaching this shower caddy first and then as you notice I'm turning the bulk of the connections inwards so that it will not be kind of sticking out like sore thumbs and I have a couple of tips here you can double wind the zip ties for better hold and also put some hot glue at the bottom of the zip ties so that they will not slide down Caddy is still a little wobbly. I need to reinforce it with a couple more zip ties. So using the handle bar again, I am going to be tying the zip ties in diagonal this time to capture the part where the slots intersect. Kind of similar to what I've done with the first basket on the other side so that the connections will be more stable and won't slide down. So here's the close-up so that you could see where I captured that intersection. So I'm just going to be tightening it up and then again I want to make sure that the bulky part will be at the back or inner part of the cart. And then after I ensure that the connections are tight enough I will be cutting the excess zip ties to trim it to size. Wire baskets from Dollar Tree. This one is a skinny long one. Same width as the first one that I tied earlier. So I'm going to be using this on this upper portion. And I have decided to just tie it right where I place my first zip ties. I am just tying the top in diagonal again capturing the intersection of the slots so that they will not slide down and this way also because I've doubled up I am reinforcing the first connections that I have done on the handle of the shower caddy again turning the bulky sides on the inner part so that they will not be sticking out and then trimming to size. Here's the combination of the two and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be organizing here. I like that there's enough clearance here also because I'm going to put some taller items there later on. So going back to this other side again, I am going to use that smaller basket to hold my scissors as well as punchers. So I've chosen this smaller one because I feel that this will be just enough but you can go ahead feel free to use the wider one as well I just so happen to have just a smaller one so you can position this either vertically or horizontally doing it horizontally you will be able to hold more items than positioning it in a vertical manner so just like what I've done but it's on reverse I am tying the connections in a diagonal way and then capturing the intersections one on each side you can also double up by putting more zip ties at the bottom I didn't think that I needed them so here it is I'm just showing you that I'm putting the scissors as well as my hole punchers they fit perfectly 
and the handles of each tool like the scissors and the punchers are the ones that are holding them in place as well the basket provides additional protection so that the blades will not be sticking out this plastic bin that i got at daiso which is the japanese yen dollar store we have a lot of them here in california and i'm going to be putting a lot of my other items that i use for crafting for example i'm using this accordion envelopes from dollar tree and i have another video which i'm linking here showing you how i organize my die cuts and also i'm using the battery organizer for holding my washies here i'm using the skinny basket to organize my acrylic paints or my actually chalk paints and then the dollar tree bottle there for my brushes and then i place a couple of my glue there and then i'm also putting my journals my traveler's notebook on the other side there's this plastic bin from daiso as well and it only costs a dollar fifty each so let me just show you what i have i also added this skinny basket that comes three or four for a dollar a dollar tree that's where i put my box cutter as well as my adhesive tapes that i also got at dollar tree this container here is from target dollar spot I like the color a lot. This one cost $3. They come also in the white or clear color. So this is where I put my stickers. So as you can see here, I have my journals, my planners here. So I'm using the stickers to also decorate my journals and planners. Now this bin here with the lid top is from Dollar Tree. I like that you can see the inside because of those die cut style uh, on the basket and then this one I am putting my essentials for crafting like my pens and on the other one that I have closed already I have my adhesives and this ones are my pens I'm putting it in this acrylic tray that I got at Daiso and it's a da Japanese yen store like I said it's a dollar store but they also sell something similar at Dollar Tree. They don't have the ridges, but they also are acrylics. So check them out. They do sell acrylic organizers at Dollar Tree. Now I'm maximizing the space here. It's a butter dish and I'm putting more pens here for my journaling needs. I'm using it upside down so that I can use the bottom part for the butter as the lid. Here's a shoe box from Dollar Tree. They come in this color too. That's why I got so excited because I love this color a lot. But it also comes in clear color. And there are more, more colors available as well. And here are some blank cards that some are from Dollar Tree. And I am putting them inside one of the skinny baskets just to organize them so as you could see a lot of the items that I have here are for journaling the stackable beans and containers from Dollar Tree will give you more space for organization so that you can carry more items this item that I'm inserting here is a traveler's notebook cover that I made using Dollar Tree placemat so I am going to be linking it also in this video so that you can watch that tutorial on how I made that in case you are interested. And here's another organizer. So if you have a Walmart nearby, you can buy this one. Two in a pack. I think it only costs like $5 for two. And it comes in different colors as well but as you can see I like this color a lot this one is a shower organizer caddy like I said they come two in a pack I'm also using one in our shower but I'm using this other one here for organizing this cart now originally I was gonna be putting this here but I don't want it laying down so I have another place to put it 
and I'm still going to be using this container for probably holding other things like catching items. So I have these two accordion style organizers again in the color that I like. I like putting things inside like my die cuts and my embossing plates so I'm just going to put them here as well. I'm just rearranging it inside the bin. I just want to show you that I am trying to maximize the space wherever I can so that it can hold more. another container that I really like using I got this at Ikea I forgot how much I got it but I think it's like less than three dollars if I'm not mistaken and this is very durable you can just put this on the top side of the shelf and you can also slide it to wherever you want to put it and this one is perfect for my disinfectant bottle. I use this a lot to clean and disinfect so I need a place for it. I just wish that cup comes in the color that I like but I don't mind using a dark brownish black along with my other things here. They all still work well. And I have this also since I'm doing journaling I have this foam memo that I am going to be putting it here so that it's easily accessible for me whenever I want to print some labels or even print some photos as well. I want to show you a little bit of a tour on the top because I went too fast earlier. I like how organized it really looks like, even up close. So inside this clear plastic bin, I got this container here. It's a battery storage container from Dollar Tree. That's where I put my small washies. And then this accordion style envelopes, plastic envelopes are from Dollar Tree. They hold my die cuts as well as embossing plates. And they all fit perfectly inside this bin. And then this container here is also from Daiso. It's a dollar fifty. And then this is where I place my traveler's notebook inserts, some extra paper pads, as well as notepads. I really love journaling and I love traveler's notebooks so that's why I, it's, you can see I have traveler's notebook covers here and this is going to be my journaling slash crafting cart but most especially for paper. I have a playlist called DIY planners if you're interested in watching my previous projects regarding creating traveler's notebooks and planners please click on the link on the upper right hand corner to watch my DIY planner videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video everyone. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please share to anyone who may be interested in this type of projects. Let me know in the comment section down below which of the extras or accessories that I have added to this card is your favorite. I love them all because I am able to maximize the my utility cart. Also let me know if you have a utility cart and what you are using it for. I know a lot of you may be crafters but you may be using it for other things. I mean a utility cart can be used for just about anything. Some folks use it to organize their pantry. I have actually one in our pantry I use as an extra 
organizer for our pantry and also some are using it like a nightstand so what are you using it for let me know and i hope you are having a great day everyone and i really appreciate all your support especially on my previous projects i really really like to organize and i'm glad a lot of you are also into organization take care everyone and i have more organizer organization ideas and diys coming up here on my channel i did mention that i'm going to be utilizing recyclables also i'll be doing upcycled videos diys for home organization so i am actually on the drawing board i am creating some ideas already on paper so i hope to talk to you again on my next video everyone have a great day and god bless you all bye bye Thank you.